Hi, this is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn to Business, and I thought I would give you a tour of the new LinkedIn profiles. Um, so while I don't have one yet, uh, Brandon, who sent me an invitation to connect today, does. And so I'm able to show you some of the cool things that you can do and see with the new LinkedIn profile. Um, so first of all, you'll notice it looks fairly similar to what we've been seeing uh, at this top snapshot area. Um, the contact information, of course, you have to unroll by clicking on contact information. The public profile URL is still there. Um, if you are not connected yet, you know, you have the uh, option to invite someone to connect or accept an invitation, which I'll do here in just a moment. Um, and also send an email if you are not directly connected. Ask for more information, get introduced, search for references. Um, you have the ability to share a profile. If you have a paid account, save a profile and export a profile to a PDF. By the way, um, I recommend everyone <laughs> export their own profile to a PDF so you have a copy of it just in case. Now, where things change up a little bit is in this bottom section. You'll notice this looks very different from how it has in the past. Um, if Brandon was very active on LinkedIn, you would have an activity uh, feed which now shows up in the center of the profile instead of over here on the right. Um, but the experience section, what I like is it's actually pulling in logos now. So you have the logos of where he's worked as well as the recommendations um, in, a, in a nice, short, small, concise way. Um, plus it shows you the picture of the individual who recommended them and their name. And then of course you can go to their profile, invite them to connect, view the profile, etc. So a lot of cool um, opportunities now for scrolling over people's profiles when you see a picture. Of course, you can go into their profile a little bit more, see the information, the skills and expertise, <laughs> has a new little logo on it. Um, and we've had skills, you know, we've had endorsed skills here for a while now. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of endorsed skills. Nonetheless, I like to see people who have endorsed skills as opposed to um, people who have no endorsed skills whatsoever because that, you know, indicates that at least they might be real. The personal information is there as well as advice for contacting that individual. Um, and then you can go down and see in-depth recommendations. Now here's one of the coolest things is connections because now you can click on this link and search for connections via keyword. So if I was looking for entrepreneurs, let's say, uh, <laughs> I can learn how to spell it. There we are. So if I'm looking for an entrepreneur in his network, then it's actually going to pull up out of all his connections, and he had 180, actually it might have been more than that, out of all his connections, I can see the folks who are entrepreneurial. And then, of course, I can reach out to them if they're first-level connection. If they're not a first-level connection, I can ask to get introduced to them. So that is very, very, very powerful and relatively new. Um, the group section is moved to the right-hand side to the center here. Uh, again, it's pulling up the logos. So you'll notice even though we're not allowed to add many more pictures, LinkedIn is definitely moving the way of Pinterest and Facebook in that at least it's adding some pictures, even if it's, you know, a logo you have no control over. <laughs> and then it'll show you also the information that the connection is following. So if I want to reach out to Brandon, I can see what news he's interested in. I can read that news. And then when I reach out to Brandon, say, hey, I noticed that you were following financial services um, on LinkedIn. You know, I also have a lot of clients in that industry or whatever. Um, you can see the companies he's following as well. So that on the very center of the profile already gives us a whole lot of information about the individual. And I haven't even accepted his invitation yet. Now over here on the right hand side, it shows me how we're connected. And I love this because I sometimes forget people's names, but here's their faces. And plus it's just a cool graph, isn't it? 
So here are their faces. I can go, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Shamir's the guy I know so well. And then I can just send him a message and say, hey, Shamir, I was wondering if you would um, introduce me to Brandon or um, I could just, you know, ask for the introduction up here right away. I could just get introduced and use Shamir. But again, that is much more useful than just some name. And it's right there. It's got that great scroll over ability. Um, and I, I just really like that. Here's another thing that's really cool. This is going to give me some information about um, Brandon's network. Again, we're not even connected yet, but it kind of shows me uh, where, you know, where he's most active, where his network is most active, where they've gone to school, the industry. So really the, the two I like here are the industry and the location. So I can find out that Brandon's network is focused on marketing and advertising. Well, why is this important? Because if my focus is on marketing and advertising, I now know that he's got a good network and a network worth me joining. Now, I believe this is only available with the paid account, and this is one of the reasons I definitely recommend you get a paid account now. Also, it shows me what I have in common with Brandon via skills and expertise or group. So again, this is very handy because if we weren't, and we're not yet, first level connections, and I wanted to send him a message, I just click on the group that we share and I can send him a message through the group. I don't have to pay LinkedIn an in-mail for an in-mail. So that is hugely useful. And again, I believe only available on the paid account. Uh, some other information that's useful. Other profiles that people have viewed when they're looking for folks like um, Brandon, and this is useful especially if I'm looking to hire someone. So these would be other individuals I might look at. Same thing, uh, people similar to Brandon. So this is what people have actually looked at. This is people that LinkedIn, these are people that LinkedIn, that LinkedIn itself feels are similar to Brandon. Again, if I'm looking to employ someone, these might be individuals that I want to look at. So already you can see an immense amount of information and we're not even connected yet. So let's get connected. So now I'm going to accept Brandon's invitation. And as soon as that happens, let's take a look at his profile. So what else now? So of course, now I can endorse Brandon for these skills since he was so nice to let me shoot this video. I'm going to go ahead and endorse those skills. Um, I can send him a message. Uh, I can suggest maybe that he <laughs> write an update um, because he doesn't have any yet. So Brandon, write an update. Um, I can recommend him. So not just endorse his skills, but recommend him. Give him a recommendation, a written recommendation. I can search his references. Again, I can share his uh, profile. Save his profile um, because I have a paid account, and that's where I'm going to manage his tags. I can tag him as a first level connection. Um, what else can I do? I can export his profile to PDF. So this right here, again, is one of the reasons why um, I like having uh, I like having the paid account. So again, it's it's maybe now worth it. And here again, same information as we had earlier. Um, but now you'll notice when I find when I go to his connections, I can actually search in his connections, not just first level connections, but in totality. Um, so let's see, marketing and CEO. Just do a little search there. Uh, it's still just giving me first level connections. Let's see. It probably just goes by. <laughs> we have a lot of people in common. A lot of marketing CEOs. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, it still looks like only first level connections um, that you can uh, search by. But that's, that's okay because that allows me to easily send a message. And then over here on the right-hand side, um, same content. What do we have in common? What groups do we share? But you'll notice, um, actually, you don't get much more with the being connected than you do with the free account. So I'm sorry, being connected than you do with the second level. So that's kind of cool. Um, so that is the new LinkedIn profile. Definitely 
uh, worth taking a look at. So go ahead and take a look at Brandon. Maybe invite him to connect. I hope he doesn't mind that. And uh, <laughs> I'm Vivica Von Rosen. This is LinkedInToBusiness.com. And hopefully you found this to be useful, this new tour of the LinkedIn profile. Thank you.